okay so what is the life cycle for the react like okay, what is the life cycle means uh, like how react will work like which method will be called how we should use react everything they have defined through the methods okay so that is nothing but life cycle of the react so in the react life cycle what we can do mainly there are these three phases will be there okay so the first phase is a mounting and second phase is updating and third phase is a unmounting okay there is another phase is called error handling phase but this is the optional phase okay so these three are many very important okay so update mounting updating unmounting let us see what is mounting okay so mounting means adding our elements to the dom is nothing but a mounting okay generally mounting means attaching something something like this okay so then what is the mounting here whenever i am reloading here our data is adding it to the dom here right that process is nothing but a mounting okay and uh, let's go for in, inside the mounting like what is the steps we are going to have it okay this life cycles whatever the life cycle we are going to define all these life cycles methods are available for only class based component not for the function based component at all it this all methods are for what based component class based components only not for the function based then let us write one simple class based component and try to understand okay so here we have written this class based component in a project we can write a class based component as well as we can write the function based component anything we can write it so here with this is the function based or class based component function based here writing a function function name something like this let's convert this uh, component into class based okay export class i will say demo parent okay so it should extend one class what is the class it should extend uh, react data component that is the reason okay let me write it so extends a component this component should be imported from which library react library so if you are writing any class which is extending the component automatically this is a react component or if you want to write a function also you can write a function so this is the first step okay so then what are the things we should follow okay and second step so now first step is done and whenever you want to see the output suppose now what i have done is i have created this react component and file save all okay and let's go and reload here whenever we are going to reload uh, what is the data it is it is showing it uh, export default memory is not there let us write a default okay so what we are seeing some white error right uh, so because whenever uh, we can see the console and they are saying there is no render method inside the function okay whenever you have written a class based component we must implement one method what is that method name render method without render method it will not work anything so that is the reason we will write we need to write what method render method okay and open bracket and we will write so here whatever the code you want to return it okay generally we will write our html code right that code we should write it here okay uh, simply return like a return and uh, div and something like this you can say h1 parent so file save all so now you can reload the page again and you are going to get some data output here okay so this time we get the output right okay so whenever you are going for a class based component what is the first method very very important method render method without render method we will get any output no output at all okay in some projects we may use the class based also same thing you are going to write this uh, return statement and uh, inside the render function here you are going to write all your html code automatically it will work like as like a function component only okay but there are small differences let us go with the detail so uh, in the in the first step what we have to do there is a mounting phase mounting phase means uh, adding all our html data into the dom is nothing but a mounting phase here we need to write uh, four methods mainly there are uh, four methods are there so the first method is a constructor okay let's write a constructor so here i will go to the first step uh, i'll write a constructor okay and open bracket and a uh, close bracket something like this okay so here uh, and what uh, what is i'm i'm going to do here is i'm writing a constructor so whenever we have written es6 new feature that time we told right uh, so we can write a class inside the class we can write a constructor also this constructor will be executed whenever we are creating object for this uh, class that is a point okay here we are writing a super and and we are we are taking props right uh, 
if it is a functional based component we can write a function name and uh, arguments in the class based you need to take your props in the constructor only okay you cannot take uh, in the right side here you cannot take anything here here we here only we need to take a props okay so now we are taking a props and we are sending this props to my super component who is my super component uh, react component we are sending it okay this is required as per the es6 new feature okay and we are going to write a state variable how will you how will you define our state variable in the functional based component uh, use state we'll write a use state right here you no need to write any of those hooks simply you need to simply say this dot state is equal to something like this automatically that one that variable we can track it here react will track this uh, variable something like this okay so now what is the first hook we should write it a uh, constructor let us uh, write one console dot log statement uh, and see okay console dot okay log of demo constructor let us go and see check in the inspector so see demo constructor is calling right that is okay so this is the first method it is going to call it and second so there is a one more method called uh, get derived state from the props this is the second method so read the name get derived state from props that means you de you uh, define your state from the props property okay so let us write this method so this is a static method so the second one is a static method and please important something like this okay so it should return a it should return a one state variable ma okay so always this method should return a some state variable so what we want to do suppose my parent is sending some uh, property in the props okay i want to copy that props so that is the reason i will say uh, this is a state is there right uh, i'll write it dot 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 state comma something name is equal to uh, props dot name okay what is this meaning i want to take props from my parent and I want to update my state variable. This is the meaning, okay? And it is returning one return statement and we are writing a console.log. So what it is going to do, if you are saving it, uh, let's see the uh, output here. First, which method is executing? Constructor is executing. After the constructor, what method it is executing? A uh, get derived state from props. So, so second, it will call the this method, get derived state from props. This method is responsible, take variables from the properties and add it to the state that is this method okay and the third method is a render function when render function will be executed whenever there is any change in the state variables either state variable or props this render method will be executed let us try to print this variables ma suppose i want to print it here those variable names okay i can write like this what is my variable name this dot uh, state dot uh, text something like this okay this dot uh, state dot uh, text let's see what is the data we are going to print it what is the data i am having it a uh, hello world where we are having that hello world uh, see in the state variable what we are having it a uh, something let us change it to something like the trinit tech okay uh, trinit technology okay so now we are going to display like this so if we have any data in the state variable here uh, automatically we are able to print it in the render method or not uh, okay we are able to print it and we are having another property also what is the property name property but this property parent should send some name right otherwise the name will not come because where we are taking from this here props okay suppose you want to print this props uh, let's print this one this dot state dot name property okay so what it is going to print uh, for now it's not going to print anything empty if you want to print any value now uh, what is the value you have to do it uh, from your parent you need to pass some data so what is your property name 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 is equal to something like you can say react course file save all okay see okay so you are sending the data from parent to child how you are passing you are writing your child name left side and whatever the value you are passing right side this is the same as in the function also same the only the difference here is uh, how you are uh, getting the data in the here. You are going to write props here. And in, inside the get direct states, you are going to get the value from props and you are going to return one uh, state object. That is the reason here you are going to write like this. Okay. So now what is the third method? Uh, render method. Okay. Let's write one console.log statement. So render. Okay. So let us reload the page again. 
see first let's reload again so first which method is executing constructor okay after constructor which method is executing a derived from after that which method is executing a render method okay okay so now let's go for next method called component did mount what is the method name component did mount okay so whether the component all initial step is done or not okay this this method will be executed after all initialization is done let us try to add this method also so let's go here and you can write like a component did mount and open bracket and close bracket console.log of did mount okay so let us save and uh, open it here see after the render method, what is the method it is executing? Component did mount. Okay, this is the order. So all these four methods are available in which phase? What phase it is a mounting phase? Mounting means adding our elements to the DOM. That is nothing but a mounting. So constructor, what is use of constructor? Whenever we are creating object, automatically constructor will be executed. And this is the first method will be executed during the component. And get derived straight from props. What is the use? If you want to get any state from the properties then we can use uh, this method and render method if you want to write any html code then we have to write inside the render method only and component did mount so suppose after the uh, this this thing is done i want to add any listeners or i want to add any button click through the javascript code okay such code we can write inside the did mount okay don't write before here if you are writing any code before here here only we are our output is going to come if you are going to print it before it will not output will not be displayed that is the reason if you want to do any such activity you should write such activity inside the component did mount this is nothing but a mounting phase and second phase is called a updating phase okay second phase is called a updating phase updating phase means suppose now already the state is there now I want to update one more property. Suppose I'm going to click one button. I want to increment one value or something like this, okay? So and when the component react is going to reload the data right So the such phase we'll call it as a updating phase, okay? So in updating phase, again, this get derived state from props will be executed first, okay? Get derived state from props, okay? So this is the one it is going to execute. Already we have written this get derived state from props. Okay. So get derived state from props will be executed in initial phase and it will be executing in the updating phase also. Okay. So the next method is a shoot component update. Okay. So let us try to write something like this. What is this method? Let, let me write it here. Okay. So there is a open bracket and close bracket and something like this okay so here what is the purpose of this method is should it is asking should okay component update it is asking should i update my component or not okay if you are returning true this component will be updated if you are returning false this component will not update it at all even though you are changing your state even though you are changing anything props are changing uh, my state variable are changing but still it will not reflect your changes why because here you are saying a false let us see a demo here so let us reload it again see so render method after the render method component did mount and so then we can see the okay component did mount is there let us see should component update it or not so should we are returning it true here that is okay so file save all so let us go for a next method so next method is a render function already we have written a render function that means render function will be executed for every update and render function will be executed for initial stage also that is okay so next thing is get snapshot before update okay suppose if you want to get any data like what is the data earlier okay suppose i want to write like open bracket and close bracket something like this okay suppose here what you want to do you want to see what is the data earlier and what is the data after you want to compare some such data such data you can compare using the get snapshot before update so something like this Okay, get snapshot before should be updated, should be used with the component defines nets only. Okay, so let me just write one uh, variable here component update. Okay, so this component update is taking two variables. Let me write it here. 
Okay. So let me reload it here. So demo parent get direct shared from props render component and what is this error should be used component update this component define snapshot update only get snapshot before update should be used with the component did update component should come okay there is some name is wrong okay so let me write two more methods which are available and we can discuss okay so now error gone so the error was saying i have used one method get snapshot before update and it is saying you should use this method along with this method only don't write this single method alone you should use this method with the another method only so that is the reason okay so let us go for mounting phase again and i will explain it here okay so in the updating phase so first method is a get derived state from properties this is exactly same as a mounting phase okay and second thing is a should component update it is saying whether your component should update it or not that is one if it is returning true component will update if it is returning false this component will not uh, update let us see what is the example for that okay and render function will will say return the our output that is okay get snapshot before update so it will see like uh, what react will do it will compare with the previous value right uh, if you want to compare with your previous value by yourself you can use this method get snapshot uh, before update so we can see this one and last one is a component did update whether update is happened or not something like if you want to track those changes you can use this method component uh, did update and the last method is the unmounting phase unmounting means whenever suppose uh, here this is our if i am going to click on login okay so whatever the earlier uh, component is there right that will be destroyed okay so before destroying if you want to execute any code that code you should write such code inside the uh, will unmount component uh, will unmount okay such code where you should write it component uh, will unmount something like this so here if you see whenever i am navigating to other other file it is executing component uh, will unmount it will execute only one time if you want to write any cleanup activities uh, like uh, clearing the timeout uh, like suppose set timeout uh, clear timeout is the right such code we should write inside the uh, component uh, will unmount okay so let's have a some simple demo so now what we are doing right so after the component did mount is there that means everything is mounted now i want to set some value okay i want to set some value state value let us see here i am going to just write this code component did mount let me go to my did mount here okay so after this component is done now what i want to do i am writing some set timeout okay here i am writing one variable called set state okay whenever you want to update your state you can call like a this data set state okay now i'll write like this this dot 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 this dot state comma so this means existing data will be copied and i am i am going to add a new property so this new property is a 30000 something like this so what is the property i am going to add it here uh, salary property okay salary so let us print that salary property in the render method so where is our render method let us go for a render method here okay suppose i want to write another tag h1 okay salary colon and i want to print this date okay this data state data salary okay so file save all let us go to demo component see there is no salary here ma huh? after five seconds salary should be updated okay why initially there is no salary because we are not writing that uh, code directly here uh, we are writing that code away inside the set timeout this timeout will be executed after how many seconds uh, five seconds correct right uh, after five seconds we are sitting we are updating our state variable so whenever there is a very state variable changes uh, automatically see what will happen the, this code will be executed from the top to bottom okay and that is the reason it is executing right uh, so now what i want to do here there is one method called right uh, should component update there is a method is there right uh, 
we are saying if this method is written true then only component will update if this method is false this component will not uh, update let us return a false suppose written a false trial save all okay let us go and reload the page again i have reloaded the page just wait for five seconds if after five seconds it is going to update the screen then that means that method is not working fine okay so our five seconds gone still there is no output at all okay so whenever you don't want to re-execute your component you don't want to change at all then what is the uh, return type you can keep it uh, you can simply return like a false this means that even though your state variable is changed yes sir you are not going to get the latest output at all okay that is the reason you can control like this okay true okay something written true means uh, whenever there is a variable state variable changes uh, automatically this code will be executed and see that that output will come okay see that output is coming here okay so this is the about the life cycle so and here component will unmount is the right uh, any whenever we want to write any destroy code like a clear timeout clear interval such code will write inside the this uh, component uh, will unmount so when we are going to input suppose here we are executing this code i am click on login whenever we are going for other page automatically re what react will do it will destroy the previous component whenever it is destroying previous component it will execute the component uh, will unmount code okay this is the three phases let us go and uh, check it again so first what is the phase uh, mounting phase what are the methods available constructor get derived state from uh, state from props render function and component uh, did mount okay did mount okay and second updating phase again get derived state from props should component update or not okay if this is written true component will update if written false uh, component will not uh, update this is an interview question suppose there is one component is there i don't want to uh, ch change it even though my props is changing i don't want to show that output uh, what you are going to do then you can simply say should count uh, update should return a false automatically you will not do any update okay and render function get snapshot before okay so using the, the, this this get, get snapshot before what you can do you can check the what is the current salary and the previous state salary and you can verify here suppose uh, let us go for our example here is the writer here you can write like a hey, what is the current salary and what is the earlier salary we can print it suppose let me go here and print the so here state dot salary means uh, the, this, this variable whatever the current one this means uh, what is the earlier one is there so let's go, click on save and go to our uh, here right side and go to demo component uh, just so after three seconds you see this is a method get snapshot before okay so what is the earlier value undefined there is no value at all after some time what is the latest value 3000 so something like this you can get the previous value and you can get the latest value also and if you want to write like this uh, you can say pre value is equal to okay and uh, current value something like this you can you can update something like this so that automatically it is going to print that data see and previous value is undefined current value is a three lakh something like this so whatever the data you want to verify whether you want to verify what is the data earlier state now what is the current state and you can verify that is nothing you can verify in the here get snapshot before a update so that is the method okay and uh, next thing what is the next method a component did update whether your update is successful or not and you want to write some code uh, what is the you can write such code inside the component did update and unmounting means uh, removing our element from the dom is nothing but a uh, unmounting so when it when it will unmount uh, whenever we are navigating other screen our previous screen will go away right uh, so that that time we, this unmounting will be working okay so this is nothing about the component uh, will unmount so this all the things this life cycle methods uh, where it is possible it is possible in the function based or it is possible in the class based only in the class based in the function based you cannot write all these methods this is not at all working in the function based that is the reason we will go for a hooks like whenever i want to write a state variable what is the hook we will use it a uh, use state correct right uh, something like for each thing we are going to use one hook separate hooks okay yes